Right, I'm dead. Oh, it's actually, actually one of the tougher matchups for Dwarves, isn't it? They've got strength and mighty blow. He's a level 5 coach, though. So, fingers crossed, he hasn't taken mummies on his team. <laughs> Yeah, all the PS4 and Xbox guys had to buy the PC version, yeah. But to be fair, if you've got a PS4 or an Xbox and you've got a PC, you're probably better off playing X Blood Bowl on the PC just for the player base. You know, that's the thing. Like numbers of player base. No, I'm not saying <laughs> that the quality's better, even though it probably is. All right then, Fan Fox. Oh yeah, of course they could. I mean, dwarves could go ten guard, couldn't they? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, cares would be shit. Yeah, you can't get more than two. I think we had three in the one that I was going to do. So that, um, you know, you could have claw pom <laughs> or tackle pom. Um, because otherwise, I was thinking fucking Skaven. I thought Skaven was going to be dominant. And then limited to two, double, two doubles to stop Chorse being dominant with three. Um, so... It does seem like dwarves and uh, like just all of the good low TV teams and like dwarves and lizards and everything. Maybe the lizards are not so good because they don't really want skills on the skinks and they'd have to take skills on the skinks. So maybe the lizards wouldn't be very good. Yeah, dwarves, dwarves could just have <laughs> over 20 skills on them. Well, 22 skills, wouldn't they? 22 skill dwarves seems a good shout. Yeah, I guess you could have 22 skill, 22 skill orcs just to beat... 22 skill orcs just to beat the 22 skill dwarves. Bowhawk on rats. Wrestle, Dauntless, Strip, Tackle. No. This isn't the tournament, no, this is just a random game. Uh, but I will get, I will invite, I will invite the people to the tournament and then they can accept if they want to think because it's kind of all being made. Well, that's, that's good then, Fanfox. Yeah, I think as long as, at least the, uh, at least the rules are up for debate. Um, rather than being handed down from on high. Maybe wrestle, maybe wrestle, don't wrestle tackle actually because the on, the only ball carriers will be uh, <laughs> literally the only ball carriers will be uh, will be long uh, run, dwarf runners. So
there. Good shit there. Maybe I should take the push that I could protect the trolls there. That was the idea. The idea was to push him and then be completely protected, but instead of powering him and being out. So the idea was to take the push and I just took the boat down because I thought, I don't know why. I'm just being fucking stupid, I guess. And Necro lost a game, so I just thought, have a game of dwarves. Yeah, Corner Rover in the Storm Vermin, yeah. Who did the cars? Good question. Backdoor Billy. Wow. Not blitzing with a mummy. Mad man. He had three dice as well with him, and he didn't. Fucking really bad exposing the false though. Uh... <laughs> well, funky L boy. Um, yes, no matter how the dice are, if you think the AI is bad then you should absolutely watch this stream and uh, and yeah, you, if you lose the air you need to hit for yeah. yeah, absolutely. So watch the intro game on YouTube, me and Fash on my YouTube. That's the that's the that's a good one. And also the coaching games with Vulpies and Coder and stuff. Didn't put pressure on here, did he? Do this block first. I haven't fucking taken the uh, things off, have I? Don't need to know they've all got tackle. <laughs> Thanks. Pretty good scroll though. That's pretty good. Maybe this is good still. 
I've heard dirt basin like a shitter. Things. Just punch things with guard and stand firm and mighty blow. I played against the AI on Blood Bowl 1, <laughs> believe it or not, despite already having played Blood Bowl for like fucking however long it was then. How long have I played Blood Bowl for? 27. So I must have been playing it for like 15 years or more when Blood Bowl 1 came out. And obviously thousands of games on Fumble and everything. But, um. But yeah, I played against the AI there. I played. Corn team, and it was it was fun just murdering everything with a with a bloodthirster and trying to surf the entire team and stuff. I had some fun. But yeah, if it's any challenge whatsoever, you have to uh, you have to get better before playing online for sure. Because you will not enjoy online if. Uh, if the AI is close to challenging, that's true. It's a little bit tricky, isn't it? Just quietly. Go for the maybe, maybe a one dice. Though. Been a bit too loose here. I think. I wouldn't surf him if he's bad enough to stab him up. Which he's a level five coach. He might be. Did sleep with safe, that's why you only sleep with safe and not VIP sleep with safe. It's a hit on the ghoul, isn't it? Oh wow. He's an absolute madman. Oh wow, he's just all men's basing all the time, holy shit.
This is actually going to be tricky because there's just so many people to punch. Christ. What a <laughs> what a first block. Can't get him through by blocking that one. That frees him up. Can't actually fight these ghouls, can I? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Unless I move the ball out, which seems not a good idea. Get served. I've got a dodge. I just uphill block so I don't get served. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just literally get your whole team assaulted by dwarves every turn, hoping that they're all a one thirty six. Fucking hell. Next level strats. Fun and interactive. <laughs> Thanks, Ivy. Oh, look at this crazy guy. Fucking <laughs> hell. He got us as well. Oh, that was handy. Oh, no, no. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I am on the race. Boop, boop, boop. What a strategy. What a strategy against. <laughs> ghouls, ghouls versus dwarves, and they're using fist-to-face -face technique. First, so I could have moved after that. Mm. Oh. 
one dice dwarf shithead? Of course it works. Why wouldn't why wouldn't dwarf shithead one dice as well? <laughs> Feels good to be a dwarf shithead. <laughs> <laughs> Entire team on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you get a hit. To be fair, sorry. That's pretty good, squirrel dude. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, I didn't change the uh, face to face. Did I say fist to face? <laughs> no, that's actually a not. That's actually a valid tactic, isn't it? Face to fist is what I meant. Hey. Yeah, lizards are obviously quite favoured in that format. Right. Blitzer here. Let's get him in on the action. Wash these ghouls in there. Double GFI there at the end. Hope he doesn't die. This is like the necro match, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, TLC, obviously. And <laughs> Jimmy was went back to when Monster Munch got turned to your back. <laughs> Those were the fucking days, weren't they? Holy shit. <laughs> ah, that's what I thought was going to happen when I did the fucking GFA. Safe moves first. Keep Fash happy. Quad schools here is pretty bad though, isn't it? Broke the rules of no service.
<laughs> I'm almost feeling so late. I think you might come see. <laughs> You've got three players on the pitch. <laughs> and only one standing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jelly, I like the scene that I'm in Kit Love having a normal game. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It's either completely murder somebody or have ridiculous things happen. you'd stand up a ghoul at this point but he's got no fear can I put a guy in there? yes I can very nice oh it's a geophyte to hit him oh, like I give a fuck <laughs> I'm a dwarf <laughs> I've got to go for shit come now. Glorious. Glorious. Thank you very much, Gitmonk. Welcome to welcome to Team Fantastic. Thank you very very much for the sub. That's a pretty good team, Squirrel Dude. Uh, Iron Wall. Gromril Shield. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's go with a Gromril Shield, shall we? That seems like a, a very, very good setup to actually use in a game. Long beard touchdown's alright, isn't it, on the first game? Thanks to accidentally getting the ball sacked versus no players. Killed. Just a zombie. Thank you. Two weeks. Mm. Yeah, my power plan failed to hit both kills, yeah. Yes, I should have said that, shouldn't I, Jelly, instead of relying on people to spot it. <laughs> yeah, that was the plan, to hit both kills, yeah. I could have power and hit them both. <laughs> Good old dwarf. I should change the title, shouldn't I? Yeah, it's stupid and it's real, dude. You still want guard blitzers, though, just because it costs money, doesn't it? Oh, I can call it state dwarf plastic, can't I? Was that a mole team? Probably. I remember state necro plastic. Stay rat-tastic. <laughs> yeah, it's easier for you clear and dead, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, true, Jelly. But you know, I just think I should. Uh, should I apple that? Nah, I guess not. Apple it in the second half, better, isn't it? I hate that you've only got 15 seconds for apple decisions. Because they can decide the game, can't they? Uh, the 
res is set by the people who make the make the tournament to make a custom team. When you make the team, there's like a box that you select for custom. Yep, I should explain my play. Not not just could should should Jimmy do. Yeah, and you get less than 15 seconds. Yeah, the one time I was thinking about it, <laughs> I, it the, the time had just fucking stopped randomly. I knew he'd stay on. But, obviously he might have come back right now. So. I mean, it was okay not happening there. Five, six, seven. Oh man, <laughs> wrecked himself. I'll send off. Yes, but you still want guard blisters because then you've got seven guarders, squirrel dude. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't it? You get seven guard. what you want what I want on an, on, a, on an Amazon team is seven blodge guard or maybe six blodge guard and then the pom the pom blitzer yeah six six blodge guard and one pom blitzer would be pretty good But even then, I think it's too much of a risk to go with Amazons when Dwarves are so strong in this format. Like, Dwarves are just literally 22 skills, aren't they? It's not even thinking about it. A lot of teams would be 22 skills, actually, aren't they? Because 22 skills is only 440. So, pretty much every team will be, will be 22 skills. It's 1500 TV. Um, total only allowed two skills in each player um, allowed three doubles total so yeah pretty much everyone is going to have two skills in every player which does make lizards a bit worse because they've got to put skills on their skins which they're not they're not completely super happy about are they Whereas Dwarves having 10 guard, I'm pretty happy. And Orcs having 8 guard, I'm pretty happy. Or 9 guard. No, no, but do you know what I mean though? Uh, yeah, okay, okay. I know, yeah, because you would, you would use the extra money to go... You would use the extra money to go on re-rolls and stuff, but... I think the best play is to have 22 skills. Yeah, I know you're not required now. No, no, no. I wasn't clear. I do apologise. Like how he just fucking sends his sends his fucking mummies in to get banged on. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I think. Yeah, I think it would be better to uh, to just have teams where I think the best teams are teams where you want two skills in each player because I think two skills in each player gives you the most value. So stuff like dwarves where you have a blodge carrier and a mighty <laughs> a blodge carrier and ten guard mighty blow players. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you wouldn't have ten guard mighty blow players. You'd actually have uh, you'd have some stand firm, wouldn't you, to stop uh, to stop one turners? Um, <laughs> that's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. But yeah, like chaffs, chaffs are more expensive anyway. So chaffs could have six six guard mighty blow and uh, and like two the. Or block break tackle balls and then use the extra I could guess they they could have a claw pom a claw pom mino even <laughs> if can do, uh, chaos doors with a claw pom mino would be funny Done the kind of noob trap of uh, of hitting hitting the trees, haven't I here? Um, but I think it's all right. And what's here? <laughs> up, up, base, base, base. But marking them is good, isn't it? Because he's got the man's advantage. He's got to protect the ball somehow. Keep it there so the money can only one dance. Oh, Cosmo. <laughs> Fucking dwarf, <bald>, man. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> dwarves. <laughs> dwarves. <laughs> the dicing is real. You shouldn't have called it the dead is real. Oh, the dicing is real. Dice, dice to death, isn't it? I mean, there's no, there's no, there's no skill involved here. <laughs> yeah, the necros died. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah. Oh shit! Again, I let Tom Randall get punched. But um, it's just a GFI now, isn't it? To hit him. Hit the other one first. Oh no, don't make unnecessary rolls before, um, before the one that matters, I guess. Safe moves first. Fashbinder would be proud. Come 
Yeah, so maybe I should push the button. <laughs> oh man, I was like, say it's the one who scored before. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, dwarfs. Dwarfs just being dwarfs. Pretty fun. Right, we need a canoring threat. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, maybe Manus actually. Yeah, I guess it did make some bad decisions, but still. It's still brutal, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's level 5 coach. His strategy was face-to-fist -face technique, wasn't it? It was literally get all of his ghouls and that based up by dwarves, which wasn't it. <laughs> you can't stack the doubles. That was a wambulance. Oh, it's my turn. All right. Sorry. Thanks for telling me. Genuine. That was a ambulance there. That was right past my house, wasn't it? Another <laughs> round of brain. Oh, good. One, two, three, four, hand off. Time for good old Tom Brandhill to do what he does best. And it ain't fucking throwing the ball, I tell you. Fucking die. Thanks for the balls, Rotten. <laughs> <laughs> oh god fun and very interactive yeah it's very very fun for one one coach in this game actually i could have made a g if i would know i want to only roll now yeah, don't worry guys i'm gonna go over here i'm just gonna i'm just gonna try and protect the ball no no i'm not gonna protect the ball oh fuck i missed it i'm not gonna protect the ball really come on fucking die <laughs> Yes. Tom Brandhill, the dirty dwarf. <laughs> uh, right. 
What about this guy? He can reach. Now, I don't want to give him a chance here, so I have to be wary about this one. This should be enough assists. Dodo. Not a professional fowler like Grand Hill. <laughs> yeah, block break tackle on the balls. But, um, or maybe it's dodge break tackle. Block break tackle on one and dodge break tackle on the other. Alright, Dante Callis. He's tried scoring a million touchdowns on the Wood Elf team. Now he's just a fucking fowler. Yeah. I can't even break AB. Brandhill was the best fowler. <laughs> he said he didn't concede. Fair play it win. <laughs> nice level after game one. <laughs> <laughs> nah. God, dwarves are so random. <laughs> Opponent gets probably zero star player points from that game. I imagine. Oh wow, five for B BB Snow. Oh, he got one, he did a pass, yeah. Alright. Very fun and very interactive. It might be guard. There is an, there is a novel idea for a dwarf team. Imagine if this was a uh, if this had been the other rules. Um, Blood Bowl twenty sixteen could have just scored on a different long beard, and then chosen the MVP between. You know, a two guy, a three guy, a three guy, and a four guy, that would have been amazing. Could go Mighty Blow, though, for the Mighty Blow Blitz every turn. Um, <laughs> even on Dwarves, I'm tempted to go Mighty Blow first. Because then all the. Nah, just guard's too, literally too good, isn't it? Need guard. The, the, the Troll Slave can get Mighty Blow. Everyone else can go guard first. Right. You can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> Just take Mighty Blow already. Bullshit. You can be mine. <laughs> An absolute shocker, yeah. That is a shock, because uh, normally I would have gone Mighty Blow. I had to really control myself there. Thanks for the host. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.